we link this topic with uh, the division of Peninsular India into five different regions. Uh, these divisions were, one of it was Central Highlands, the second was Eastern Highlands, uh, the third was Deccan Plateau, the fourth Western Ghats and the fifth was the Eastern Ghats. Uh, having discussed Central Highlands, uh, it's high time, it's uh, essential to know either of the two physiographic regions. So one of them is either Deccan Plateau or Eastern Highlands uh, because uh, this will go on to synchronize the topic and that will go on to link uh, the different segments of uh, where one segment goes on to end and from where one segment begins. Uh. Before taking a look at what Eastern Highlands are, it's essential that uh, we must go on to consist of the questions uh, which have been asked. Uh. One of these questions uh, have been given to you on your screen as you can go on to see it uh, where a map of India has been shown and uh, it goes on to ask this question is uh, consider the map given below the places marked A, B, C and D in the map respectively are A is the Rift Valley region, Chhattisgarh Plain, Rain Shadow region and Chotanagpur Plateau B is Chhattisgarh Plain, Chotanagpur Plateau, Rift Valley region, Rain Shadow region and then C is Rift Valley region, Chhattisgarh Plain, Chotanagpur Plateau and Rain Shadow region and so on the, the fourth one that is a Chhattisgarh Plain, a Rain Shadow region, Chotanagpur Plateau and Rift Valley region in various permutation combination. Of course the answer in this case is a Rift Valley region, Chhattisgarh Plain, Chotanagpur Plateau and Rain Shadow region. The Eastern Highlands say, has a varied topography. Now when we say that it has a varied topography it means say, that uh, it comprises of uh, plains, uh, it comprises of plateaus, uh, it comprises of a variety of type of topographic structures. Some of them can be in the form of a dome, uh, some of them can be in the form of a flat region, some of them can be in a bowl shaped depression uh, and some of them can go on to be a basin as well, a boat like basin. This part of the peninsular plateau consists of Bakhilkan Plateau, Chotanagpur Plateau, Mahanadi Basin and uh, Dankaranya. The eastern part of uh, the Satpura is uh, known as uh, the Makal Plateau. That is, that is the Makal Plateau in today's part of it. Now we go on to begin with it uh, talking about uh, Satpura largely because Satpura will go on to form uh, one of the segments uh, of the topographic feature of the Deccan Plateau. So the Eastern's will go on to find it well linked uh, with the Satpura region. That is, Satpura extends itself uh, towards uh, east, east, and uh, the eastern portion is going to be called by the name of Makal Plateau because uh, the journey for it goes on to begin with Makal Plateau. The Bagalkhand Plateau is surrounded by the Indo-Gangetic Plains in the north and east, Bundelkhand in the west, Makal range in the south. Uh, and bounded by the Son River on the north. It includes uh, the Madhya Pradesh districts of Riva, Satna, Shahdol, Siddhi, and Singrali and Chutrakut of Uttar Pradesh. Second is the Chotnapu Plateau and its boundary being demarcated in the northeast by the Rajmahal Hills. Chotnapu Plateau is divided into two sections. There is the Hazari Bagh Plateau in the north and the Ranchi Plateau in the south, both of which being separated by the Damodar Rift valley. The topography of Ranchi Plateau is mostly made of rounded hills of massive granite which are called as exfoliation domes. On the northeast, the Rajmal hills demarcate the Chotnapu Plateau. These hills are capped by lava flow which are dissected on the northern edge to produce scarp like features. The Chotnapu Plateau is known for radial drainage. With North Coil, South Coil, Damodar, Suvarnarekha and Barakar radiating away from the Chotnapu Plateau. The Eastern Plateau, that is the Eastern Highlands, continues far eastward into Northeast at the Shillong Plateau or the Meghalaya Plateau. And the gap that lies between the Rajmahal Hills and that of the Shillong Plateau is going to be called by the name of Rajmahal Garo Gap. The gap was formed due to downfaulting and the downfaulted portion is covered under thick deposits of alluvium brought by the Ganga and the Brahmaputra. So what happened was there was a plateau. It was a it was a plateau that was extensive. The central portion of this plateau subsided. That went on to sink. As it went on to sink, 
one of these portions left over was called as Rajmahal. The other portion that was left over that was called as Garo. And in between was the faulted trough, which was gradually filled up by the alluvium brought by the Ganga and his Brahmaputra. The Shillong Plateau comprises of a series of hills that goes include Garo, Khasi and Jantia Hills, which have been named after the respective tribes. In the north, it is bounded and separated from the Purvanchal Mountains by the Mikir, Baral and the Ringma Hills. There is a river Kapili that separates these ranges from the Meghalaya Plateau. Further south lies the Orissan Plateau, which comprises of the Garjat Hills in Orissa that determines and extends from the southern border, border of the Ranchi Plateau, almost the whole of Mahanadi in the south. The range, also known as the Orissan Highlands, runs in a northeast to southwest direction for about 382 kilometers along the Orissan coast. The Mahanadi Basin is a low-lying tract surrounded on all sides by hills rising from 600 to 1000 meters. The central part of the Mahanadi Basin is named after Chhattisgarh. South of the Chhattisgarh Basin is the Dankaranya region. And then Karan region has been known for the fact that it was one of these first places uh, that uh, the immigrants who came from Bangladesh were settled. That means uh, people who came from East Pakistan, they were the one who were settled in the, this region. The eighth is uh, Eastern Highlands can be linked with planning uh, with uh, DVC, with then Karan region. That is the Chotanagpur region uh, has seen the first uh, form of a planning that has been uh, on an uh, interstate level. That has been Damodar Valley Corporation. And uh, when it has been called by the name of Damodar Valley Corporation, uh, it has been uh, copied from the Tennessee Valley Authority. That has been one part of it. You can be asked a question that is, despite the fact that the whole of the region goes on to be so significant, uh, why is it so that uh, the whole of this Eastern Highland region continue to be backward of sorts? It is this backwardness that is going to be the bane of the whole of the region.